Today is November 16, 2022. So today we have a Class Key TS140S from Canwood. It's a very small and popular equipment. So it's a monster. It's very good equipment. So the receiver conditions is about the TS940. So it's really a good receiver for DX. Uh, well, the conditions about receiver is not good because the potentiometer are failing. So and it have no signals, but when I try to transmit, the signals come on. So, I hope that it's, that we will not a big problem. I hope that the problem are the release, the filter unit release and LPF circuit release. Well, I will try to, disassembling this equipment and I will find this problem. I will repair this potentiometer, it's not good, and I will repair also this potentiometer because it has no no good step, so it's failing to... Well, let's start with this equipment. Well, Italia Zulu 8. Well, oh, essa fumaça de cigarro. Olha que bosta que tá o áudio, ó. Olha esse barulho. When you remove the top cover, never forget about this screw. Some technician people, good technicians, always forgot this and cause a damage for the radio chassis equipment. Okay, don't forget this screw, okay? Don't forget this screw. Oh, we have exposed the general circuit. Oh, beautiful circuit. Well, it has the coils, it has the transistors, to have the CIs, ICs, <laughs> uh, to have uh, relays, to have a uh, lot of components. Well, uh, they are very interesting. This equipment can open like a book and uh, the release uh, came to left side and it was very easy maintenance procedure well uh, now uh, we take off the screws uh, this equipment uh, native configuration have a two plates like this but it not at this proper site well oh my god oh very good very good lpfs oh pa system very interesting pa system 2sc 2879 a very strong and hard job for Transistor mode about uh, 250 watts, but it's configured for 100 watts because this relays is not good for high for high uh, power, and it's uh, it's uh, it will work uh, in good condition uh, until 120 watts, 130 watts, but it's not good for high power uh, enthusiasts. <laughs> oh well, very nice, very nice, very interesting modular release cover. Well. Now it have this equipment exposed at your bottom side. We need to take off this cover and I can find a IF10C. It's used for uh, connect this radio wave computer. It have a DB9 connector. Well, perfectly. Well, the, the cap battery, I will check it. It's all perfect. Good construction, good layout, very interesting. So I will stay traveling at the block diagram, circuit diagram, and I will improve my knowledge about this fantastic, cheap and popular but good equipment, old but good equipment TS140S. See you.
Olá, meu amigo Bart, veja só que temos novidade aqui, hein? Finalmente foi feito da maneira que tinha que ser feito, ó. Conector original, flat cable para dentro. Depois você quiser usar o rádio data, você vem aqui e liga o cabo. É que eu tô com uma mão filmando aqui, tá difícil. E a outra tá fumando, <risos> já viu, né? Mas veja só, Bart. E, opa, e tá aqui, original, não tem mais aquele... É, a filmadora tá parando, tá sem memória. Não tem mais aquele macarrão e se você quiser, ó, você coloca até as rosquinhas do conector do B9. Tudo perfeito, meu amigo. Deixa eu tirar aqui. Olha lá, ó. S140 agora com o rear panel completo.